Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing with our legendary Iron Man playthrough. It's time for Operation Northern Mother where we are uh, going to extract the scientist. We only got four characters for that. Sam Arclight, Samson and <clears throat> three others. I think uh, those are the Space Wolves. Yep, the Space Wolves are going to come down in order to get that going. Sealed armor and the large map will make it a bit more difficult, but I think we got it under control. Let's go. All right, we landed. And we landed mm, without concealment, 20 rounds. Quite a bit of ground to cover. Okay, I'll go. Let's carefully advance. Okay. Nothing there. I hope it's worth it. All right. Get it done. Orders confirmed. On the move. Affirmative. Cover the launch yet so. Good. Tight, solid cover position. We want to start a little bit uh, slower than normally. I'm trusting you here. I've got eyes on advent troops. Oh wow, there's another pack back here. Mm. Well, fabulous. Let's fortify. Seems like an appropriate uh, measure to do. I think we're, we should get the rocket here. Set 89% chance and then we're essentially just getting a grazing shot. <laughs> Another grazing shot. Sure. Let's get the drone down. There you go. We're handing over teamwork. The problem is he can still move. Let's blind the spectre. <clears throat> that means no horror and no stupid um, option for them to, to control us. And the third grazing shot in a row. Would you believe it? That guy has only taken grazing shots ever. Good, luckily we did have fortification going, so it's not too bad. Essentially full cover plus, plus some extra defense. Good, we're moving up. I think I want to do kill zone. Can't believe that we cannot see a single one of them. Good, a protocol it is. And then we're overwatching and I should have reloaded prior to kill zone. Shot failed to connect. Shot failed to connect. All right. 
right, Shadowbound. Huge problem. We need. We definitely need to kill uh, the Spectre now. Did I really just have a kill zone with one armor uh, ammo? No. That's another one. Fabulous. Starting to hit the Spectre right there. That's our prime objective, getting the Spectre down. Removal of Overwatch. Forcing the Spectre to stay here and not move. Let's eliminate the Spectre. Good, that's a two for one. We're doing an overwatch and an overwatch just in case someone pushes in the sniper can still take a good shot half cover here not great but we could work with it full cover here on the other hand is much better Gotta, gotta deal with the priest. This is unacceptable. Alright, we're going to start knocking down the priest one hit good come on another hit there we go purifier needs to die yet another grazing shot what did I do to Advent to deserve those uh, that many grazing shots? If another grazing shot, if karma exists, I must have been a mass murderer in my um, previous life for this to to make sense. On the upside, these guys are not hitting anything either. It's clear. Sentinel. Almost no more hit points left. Grenadier. Down. Need to 
Wow. Good sniper moves up because I would want to get game time out as well. And we're running a little bit low on time. Reinforcements soon are going to arrive. Reloaded. Free reload. So we want high ground and want to go over there. What's over there? Got nothing up here, which is good. Got Sniper it. moves up. Rolling out. I'll give it a shot. A free small intel cache. I think I cannot say no to that. It's like 10 intel for free on top of the mission reward. That's fantastic. Did I mention how I hate vipers? They are really my least favorite. Nah, wouldn't say that, but they are definitely amongst the lower favorite ones in the early game. The reason for me disliking them is in normal XCOM, they already are a pain to deal with, mainly because you are at the whim of, um, of RNG, whether or not you're going to hit them properly. And I mean, Long War fixed the whole dodging thing and I think made it a bit more predictable. We're dodging essentially always one uh, stage uh, downs everything. But the problem is Vipers are still ultra oppressive with their dodging. So maybe it's just me but I don't like randomness I like dependability when it comes to uh, to tactical decision making and vipers make it very difficult to make things dependable Affirmative. Moving out. and this is the testament, that's exactly my point. Let's do this. You go in expecting some sort of a hit. And things are just grazing shots. Let's do the clutch hit, 100%. Shouldn't be uh, gaze gazeable. <laughs> you see that? I like it. Good, nine, two, four, six. 8, 9, 50, 50 to kill it. Nah. Okay, that was yeah, good. That was good. I think that was the last pack. At least it should have been the last pack. Little Slitherino. Alright, I'll go. Good, let's get her down. 
or it rather. Nice. Good. Time for us to make a beeline. I'm all over it. Around. Shields up. And thanks to rescue protocol, uh, which is just such a great ability. Uh, I'm going. Ready to boogie. We're Check all moving out. out. Very good. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. More difficult mission than it looked like. Specifically the triple viper pack uh, had quite a bit of oomph in it. Years of peace and prosperity. Well, yeah, so my take on dodge is... It's so I mentioned it I think in one of our uh, runs where I heavily abused it with a hog bite. It's OP for players but it is also equally OP for enemies because it is just so counterintuitive you would think hit points is the way to go but no 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 it's always dodge and in long war it's not even dodge it it is all about defense stacking good we got a facility lead that's actually not bad that's not bad at all Got another scientist. Even better. All right, let's make contact. And we're continuing to train Shinobis. Sky Ranger will arrive uh, two turns sooner during ev evacuations. Yeah, that's it. Not even a question. Two turns is a lot. We have so many missions ongoing and I was about to say no new ones popping up what is happening cool we got an engineer potentially here five days that'll be a great infiltration for a small team four to five people Commander, you should be aware we're detecting lost activity in this area our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Could use the Space Wolves here. Could use quite a, a few uh, people actually. Yeah, just barely making it. 10 to 12 isn't that bad. I think we could take that. Um, yeah, let me just equip everybody. Good, easy. They were already very well equipped. In fact, we just had them on a mission, so might as well put them onto another mission. Got a smash and grab here. With another team. In this case, the Imperial Fist. Might as, uh, fists might as well do that right away. And we got another VIP extraction. So missions are good. We're getting a lot of them, but at the moment uh, it feels like I'm missing opportunities for the Psy operatives to uh, to get level ups. So that's a bit of a downer. I might need to use the next mission in order to actually get the Psy operate uh, just a few Psy operatives in. 
Anyways, let's go and do Operation Spider Walk, do a second mission in this episode. Here we go. Good. Oh, it's one of those missions. One, two, three, four, five, and a very, very distant exit. Interesting. Excellent Roth is the one that leads our folks into battle this time. We've got an enemy squad here. Lad moves to the absolute maximum where he can realistically stay without triggering. Good to go. Hawkeye moves up. Halo was unfortunately blocking. Halo moves up. Dreadnought moves up in Bust Bastard. Moves to here without triggering. Good. If the first pack immediately comes to us, uh, that would be good. But I think they just decide. No, they decided to engage. All right. Cool. They seen me. How? No, seriously, how? Because look, that is cover and cover, and I have no idea based on which theory that would have been a discovery. Does not look too bad. We're continuing to move up. Halo moves up. Sniper moves up. Exenroth, unfortunately for us, can't really push in at all and uh, needs to wait. Thanks to being uh, randomly discovered. Okay, cool. We got. That and that, and I think we got the blitz as a hundred percent reward. Might as well take that. Security infiltration protocol moves up. We're moving up. Free reload for lead. Rock and roll. And move up. Running. Um normally I would no stay on the high ground, but I don't think that the majority of the battles will be outside. I think it'll be rather inside. Pretty sure there is a pack in inside of this building. Maximum range. 
Hawkeye. Ein Halo. Uh, sounds like someone is on top of the roof. Interestingly enough. Good. A lot of uh, slithering away. into security but might be a kill nice the shot he never ceases to amaze really good damage hey look moves up Deals damage but fails to kill. On my way. Or driving. Hit, but as always, Grace. I apologize for your untimely death. Limited ammo remaining. Already there. Si può fare. Monta la guardia. Good. There's still one more pack. Might be in here. Might be behind the room. Take more loot. Okay, I'll go. Moving as ordered. Uh, I've got it. Good Hawkeye, what would be a good position? I think down here wouldn't be too bad. It's not great, but you can at least shoot um, through all of the angles. So we got one, two, one, two, three crates. Fair enough. Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. Lad moves up, and Overwatch is here as well. Triggered something somewhere. Vado in posizione di tiro. Via, via, via. Moving up. 
clearing the back line. Gets the Advent Shield Bearer. And the run and gun that we've gotten earlier comes in absolutely clutch and handy. Guy is down to one hit point, really. X-ray neutralized. I guess that'll be okay. Why can't I loot? Oh, because I already have a loot. Good. We're getting the remaining loot. We got all of the items this time. Very nice. And we're well ahead of plan. It's unfortunate. Good, easy. I think we haven't even taken damage, right? Scanning. I think the engagements were overall very clean. Killed all of the enemies before they even could react. Good, I need to find more time to train the Psy operatives. It's all good and I don't mind uh, those missions. The problem is they are quote unquote little experience. We need more enemies in order to actually get through it. And the other problem is the more people you do have on a mission, the less experience they uh, they get. They all get assists, but at the end, the pool is not going. It's it's a difference between XCOM 2 Standard and Long War. In Long War, you get kind of all of the kills, and then um, th that um, the assist pool is uh, divided by the rest of the members. Uh, whilst in normal XCOM, uh, you get an assist every single time on top uh, so if you have more people on a mission you will essentially get um, promotions quicker all right halo and x not bad b 
big number of supplies. I like it. Yeah, my concern now is uh, the Psy operatives are not getting enough air time. Setting course for sector 15, West Asia. Potentially we'll need to do another Psy ops run. Yep, that is the Granites, but we're going to do that mission the next time. That's already boosted 60%, but yeah, we, that's the start of the Liberation mission. A couple of faceless ones and potentially quite uh, high hit point targets when it says Savage. That means likely Berserkers and some Chrysalids, but we're going to be fine. I don't, uh, I don't sweat it too much and we're halfway through plasma and we have so much more to research I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field they face a well-armed well-trained enemy and yet they never waver in their loyalty to the cause Yeah, we do have a, <laughs> a little bit shy on contacts as well. So by thinking about it, maybe defense matrix needs to be skipped and we have a second resistance comps. Um, that just means we need to really, really, really kill the Chosen. And we'll have a problem once the UFO uh, mission happens. But yeah, that's the cost of building a workshop. Which, in hindsight, was sort of okay. We were uh, more with short on the engineering front and the workshop really acted as a good crutch there. But yeah, could have been overall better. Um, last look at our squads. So the top squads are on missions. We got plenty of, uh, uh, plenty of other squads. Um, Assault Sharpshooter Ranger, they are missing a Shinobi, so Painter here would be a great addition to the team, which means now all they require is a support specialist. So the Aspirants do have a Sergeant Specialist that they do no longer need. And instead, we're picking up Squatty, another Squatty, and the Rooks, who are in training. Very good. The Iron Hands are gobbling up. Shadow Realm, 246, I'm thinking, Maybe the Imperial Fists are better off with a Sharpshooter because they really didn't have one yet. Shinobi, Sharpshooter. Um, and they could also use a cover removal. So now the Imperial Fists look good. Let me just double check something. Yeah, Aziz al Dar Cry does not have a bond, so we're good. And the Iron Hands could use a Gunner, Corporal John McManor is in here, isn't it?
John McManor is here, the shinobi. Okay, cool. Um, which means Iron Hands. I don't want to break up that. A little bit of an exception to the rule. Let's get these two together. It's fine, although just a corporal, he will eventually get sergeant. The aspirants, there's enough to train. And you and you might need to go there as well, just so that you can actually train and get better. Good, and we definitely need more sparks. They are absolutely fantastic. I already have a couple in, in production. But the overall shortage of engineers is making it difficult to really produce. And we got one more, uh, two more shinobis actually. But that's not too bad. They can always help out whenever, whenever a shinobi is not available. And that should be quite often. Good. And my my only concern other than that is the Psi operators. Yeah. I need to find a better way of dealing with that. We have really good chapters now and they are also getting enough experience. I think maybe in some cases I'll just uh, sk uh, skip the Master Sergeant and let them run Covert action missions and the others are uh, bonding together um, or working together with psi operatives. That's fine as well. For instance, the Grey Knights here, those three don't need experience anymore. So after that UFO mission that they're currently on, I will just put them onto normal missions and let them run with a couple of uh, the uh, Psy operative, similar thing here with the other Grey Knights. Um, Ross and Synapse don't really need any more um, experience, so an idea could be to let the others run through it. We're already doing that with Toxic here. This is a great, op uh, great uh, topic as, as well. The Blood Angels, once they're done with the infiltration, um, I might just uh, use um, Pliskit and Implacable as, um, as the only ones to work together with, um, with Psy Operators because Aaron and Aviator, they could easily uh, just run other missions, so that'll be fine. I don't see a huge issue with it, not at all. Good. Things are coming together. We're we've entered the mid game, and uh, and I want to push forward for plasma, and for a couple of other things actually. I mean, there is so much more uh, that uh, I would want to do. Battle armor is great. Uh, gives the technicians another huge boost. Mobile armor is great. Uh, gives the snipers a fantastic uh, boost. Powered armor overall is good. A bit early, I, I feel we're not taking a lot of damage at the moment. Um, then uh, we didn't have an Archon Autopsy yet, but that would definitely be cool because it, it gives us the strongest uh, weapon upgrades. Priest Inspector, not so much. Chrysalid is good, uh, that gives uh, Hell Weave Vests, so they are helpful. And Shieldbearer also does give a, a west, uh, vest, uh, the hit point regeneration one, which isn't bad either. So overall, actually quite good. Uh, we'll, um, we'll get more of that uh, once we're through. The other uh, thing where we really have a lot of projects to do and I need to staff engineers here is just generally that. We haven't even gotten a, uh, the Skulljack. Boltcaster, I looked up, is a decent weapon, I think, in the right hands, for instance, in the hands of a Psy Operative. It can be very good because it makes you, it gives you like one attack that is super strong. And if you're not attacking regularly, that uh, actually is quite good. 
Uh, technical vest, definitely good. Sparks, like I mentioned, fantastic. We have had good experience so far. Um, running with four sparks, maybe we'll get a fifth, uh, fifth one. Uh, gas grenade, for now, I think we can cancel. Not uh, immediately big on that. Shredder rounds, on the other hand, is something that I believe we might want to prioritize. Tail end rounds, blue screen rounds, and just shredder rounds are helpful. Um, but then again, you can't have it all. So let's get the sparks going first. Even if that means uh, this will come a bit later. Yeah, hell, we've we already got that uh, from the berserk um, even so. That'll be a nice upgrade as well. So there are a couple of really good upgrades just for broader item utilization. For now we're good though. And I think I've talked a lot about strategy or enough about strategy. It is the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy Long War of the Chosen, now is a good time to leave a like and to comment down below and see you on the next episode. All right, take care. Bye-bye.